What do you usually take when you go to picnic? Uh, sandwich or chips? Mm, no. Why don't you change things up and add something new to the picnic basket? Yes. So, onigiri is very common in Japan. People often have it in the lunchbox, and uh, uh, people take it with them to the picnic because it is easy to cook it, especially easy to eat it. <laughs> so, best part is you can add any ingredient you want. But today I'm making tsunami onigiri. Uh, it's best combination in my opinion, and I'm sure you like it. So let's get started. First, one, let's cook rice. It's better to use Japanese rice because it's sticky and you can easily mold into shape. It's so sticky. Some people even use it as glue in Japan. I'm not kidding you. Try and close an envelope with it. Works like magic. I will use a pan to cook the rice. You need to have equal amounts of the water and rice. Unfortunately, I don't have a scale, so I'm going to use a weight scale better than nothing because I can't measure weight accurately. Oh my god, I lost 5 kg for 2 weeks in lockdown. <sighs> cook the rice on high heat at first and then simmer in low heat after it boils. Next, we make the tuna mayo. Cut onion into pieces and put in the microwave for 2 minutes. After that, just mix can tuna with onion and mayonnaise and add 2 teaspoons of the sugar and pepper. It's done. Now let's mold shape. Firstly, wet your hand, otherwise the rice will stick your hands like it is. <laughs> no. Next, put salt on your palm. Salt gives the onigiri more shape life, as well as adding more flavor to the onigiri. After that, just shape into a triangle prism, but make sure rice has cooled before touching, otherwise you will drop like me <laughs> voila tuna mayo onigiri itadakimasu wow tuna mayo is amazing but like i said mm. at start you can add whatever you want inside i also recommend salmon or sumeboshi please try this recipe and let me know which combination you come up with in this comment below